good read. They're coming in towards A. There are four players here from Virtus Pro ready to receive them. They've got the long control. Now comes the hit. There's the kills. A couple of them coming rapidly, but Zaiwu answers back and he gets a tag to boot. One HP and a dream living here for Sanji, but they can't connect. At least not just yet. Sanji continuing to do damage, but he cannot hang on. And Zaiwu's found another kill. Working on his third now as they fight Buster in towards the bank. They know where he's at. He cannot fall away. He just wants to take it, but that will be shocks down for the count. And Buster hasn't been tagged. At least not for the moment. And clear in. Does he go for the full wrap by Bracket? I don't think he has enough time for it. Finds Zaiwu, but Zaiwu finds the head first. Pistol round up. And he gets into that situation. He's the player who could drop the up. He's the one who takes the hit. Nice shot for James. Big setup. The question becomes, can Shocks do damage here in bathrooms before that comes through? And actually now, if Shocks goes down, Sanji's found one. There we go. Now it's a big problem. Jane takes out Zaiwu. The bomb's now out in the open. They can't even think about the plant. They've got a face in, and they will die. Huge round for Jane. Be peeking towards Monster. They should realize they can rotate another player back up. Oh, oh no. Leave that side. What's happened? Starting to move the timing for Yekin. That was fantastic. Fine with that. They already have the man advantage. They can set up the crossfire and try and snatch one or two more kills. And at that point, just play for the retake. And it's going incredibly well. Jane continues to frag. He hits the wall bang even. Doesn't get the kill, but it weakens up a player who was already lacking the firepower. And even with Yek in there going down, he also does damage towards RPK. So it is a strong four on three. Question is, can RPK do more from the bathrooms? Kickert hears this. He knows he's right here. And he's not expecting the player to be holding for him. That's a big kill to find. Now, this should be the mode out. Misa guy's doing damage with the Tech 9. There's another follow up for Shocks, but it's all on Shocks. He's only got 12 points of health. He is not long for this world. Game can come back in with a pistol, and that's what he's going to do. The Fuse will be on. Bomb Plant does give something for Vitality to work with, but just in the nick of time, VP do take the round. So they tie up the score line here, and they do have the money to deal with the three loss rapidly. Jame, I don't know if he was spotted getting around there. Wasn't quite cleaned up, and you can see Apex is going to hold for the angles. I was already here. Got smoke off long, not wanting to deal with it. Buster looked like he had it, but no. RPK denies. That should be the round for Vitality. Great response to the construction aggression, or to the monster aggression, rather. The player's flying out. Jame needs to isolate this fight. He does indeed take down Apex, but he just wants to get away. He just wants to secure his gun, and on the flank, it is Shucks. But Shucks can't get anything doing. So Virtus Pro now, you're actually tempted to come back into the retake. And indeed, that's what they're going to do. They got those two kills in the periphery. They were planning to save. And suddenly it's like, all right, well, the numbers are down. I, I guess we're going to do this. There's two players locked out towards long, but they have to tank it with Jane. He's going to find the first. He doesn't expect the second, though. If he had held Zaiwu there, they might be able to win it just off of that. But they need to hop on the CPUs now. Sooner rather than later. Don't even know if they have time at this juncture. They certainly don't now. That's going to be the round. Only one player survives it. I think he's going to go up with the smoke. It's Mizuta. So now it's a decent hold on site. And there's no presence out towards long for Vitality. So this triangle could get a bit tough. Monster does clean up mid into this one. And there are many bodies here for VP. Four to be exact. Here comes the swing. There comes the kills. This crossfire is deadly. It's just so tough to dismantle. And they still have a double to player out towards Optimus. There's just nothing to do. Whichever way you look, there's going to be a VP. So they're taking the construction control every round. They go in with the early stack, but they know that James can be trusted to do some damage. Here comes the punish, but the trade is there. And Shocks, a low HP player, is the one who survives, which isn't ideal. The opt down in Khan. This could get risky, because now there's a player pressuring from the top, but Yekendar's here to keep this alive. Shocks is cleaned up. Now it's a 4v2. Nothing doing here. Maybe we see their reticence to go towards B. They know that hold from VP is strong, particularly in the early round. James takes one more. That's the bomb down. This should not be winnable for Zaiwu, but it... Pretty well played for a Virtus Pro side that likes to take a fight every once in a while. Now the hit's going to come through as he continues to clear, just so frustrated that he can't find a player. Up comes out. We were wondering whether they wanted it. They do want it. And here's the Yertle the Turtle boost. And it's going to work out. Catches Buster going for the Info Peak all the way towards site. Four players required to make that stack happen, but it does pay dividends. Still, it gives the space. And Yakindar, he's claimed it. The Flash, though, punishes. And James not back on the angle. He's going forward. They're already out in the playground. He doesn't realize this is going to be so risky. Down he goes. It's falling apart for Virtus. It's completely clear there as RPK walks on. Uh, so this could be risky. Kicker and Sanji could get something done over on the B side of things. But no, it is not happening. Sanji, he's all alone now. He should be just dropped pretty soon. He gets that first kill, but the trade at least. Okay. Yeah, backing up through connector. I guess try and reapproach potentially. He could save as well. They have enough money to get the buy either way, but yeah. They're... The secondary op on B can be, get a bit trickier. We were seeing Furia employ a lot of the double op with Junior and Art when we were watching them on Overpass, and they were just both oh, getting able to get it without 
too much time being wasted, but yeah, down to 40 seconds now. Looking like it will be the okay. A hit and the fantastic shot from Jame. Positions back, he's actually not going to fall towards the bomb site, not immediately anyway. And I don't know if he's going to have much of an option to do so anymore. As the flash goes over, he's forced to take the fights and it's working. Oh a leg towards the opposing upper, a follow up onto Apex. And although he will eventually fall to Masuta, he's still have Yek in there on the bomb site. And you just have a fantastic advantage in favor of VP in general that just gets better and better. Oh, and they're, they're saving. even if they're they try saving. to go back down, Kicker has the rotation, so they have no option. You're right, they have to save. Jame has been just such class with that AWP towards the A site. 16 and 5 is his score line, but that round he wins for them again. Even just to pull up. Looks like we might finally get that fast B hit that VP have been stacking up for, but here's the response. Never mind, RPK misses to open this right up. Buster will find one, but around the pillar, how can he stay alive? Gets a no scope even, but it's all in Yakindar. A 1v3, and this would take a heroic performance. He will not find Misuta. Misuta, good movement to stay away. Avali down to try and give him the 1v1. He nearly gets it. Takes out Zaiwu. Misuta survives until they actually do take the round and honestly have a really solid path towards even 7 at this point, unless JM has something to say about it, and he does. Oh. He's already gone ahead and got himself one. He was ready for the follow-up, but a little bit of help from Buster meant he wasn't even needed to uh, step up for that second. I think it was the boost coming over from the A bomb site. Apex, nice catch on the jam. And Zaiwu getting up on the flower pot. Oh, ho, ho. Yenka just slips into the corner, but the nade comes out and Apex is forward. That is now two players. Apex has caught completely off guard and the third as well. A big round for the captain of the squad. He's going to be able to plant the bomb, or rather he doesn't have the bomb. He'll be able to set up a plant. Not if Buster has anything to say about it, but Apex doesn't care. Looking for the ace now. Four kills to his name. This is the round where he says, okay, guys, we can't get anything doing. Momentum finding some space, and it's it's all Apex in this round to make it happen. There's the duel for Sanji, but Shocks was ready. Be risky. A five-on-five -five retake scenario. Vitality will have to get back into position, but deep controlling towards the bank is going to make this tough. Oh god, we're gonna have a mad clash of close on the stairs. It's four of them coming in, and Yekinder is just wrecking on the Glock. He gets the first three to find a hat trick. And it's Buster and Sanji who want a piece of the pie as well. The fall, or if he was to fall quicker, rather. B push coming in, it's just a straight up rush. This is a bit risky. They don't know Masuda's up close on the D goal, and while he's lining them up, actually finds two of them. Ooh. Nearly was able to drop the third player. That was actually pretty close on that one. So, yeah, really good damage across the board done. A double scout setup, though, it's not really the weaponry that you want for this retake. It depends, right? You're you're relying on them giving you a fight. And they shouldn't. They should not. But that could be the mistake. The nades are available, though. That's helpful. Two rifles still in play, but one player down for the count. Now a smoke to cover off construction. There is no player holding there. They could find one on the approach. That would go a long way to making this easier. There's the spot. There's a flick. Sanji gets one. He gets two. Actually, it was Jame on the second, but now he's playing against Zaiwu. Time running short, but Zaiwu goes to the sidearm. Can't quite deal the damage with just eight coming through. Shocks, Kindar, Shocks, Buster. This is going to be interesting. Can't quite hang on. Oh, Mo. Ooh. And the hit's going to come in towards B. They're moving in. Three bodies here. This should be well set up for Vitality. The flashes are good, though, and there's a delete. Oh, a second, a third. They just follow it through. The entries are beautiful. And Zaiwu just has to save. He's glass cannon AWP. This is $4,750. They would very much like to take into the next round. But VP, they walked into a stack. They walked into three players, and the flashbang and the entries were perfection. Yeah, that was insane. Good, great work from uh, Yekin. Up around there, the sign, I believe. He was peeking ahead of it. Oh, Sanji catches the player pushed up in water. Masuda had no idea. Four players right now are just around this corner. So this is going to be tough. He spotted the barrel of Jamie. He wasn't able to get the shot off. Instead, waits for Yek in there to come around the corner and will connect. But now he's pinned in. Can he find at least one more? No, he cannot. Sanji rips off his head. Zaiwu now on towards the truck is going to have some pressure to try and overcome. And he hits the leg. That allows him to swap back to the USP. Let's get the finish. And at this point, he's doing a great job at least in wasting time and allowing for his teammates to rotate up. And there we go. They are there to help out. As I said, Zaiwu. They're going to. Here we go. Is RPK up to the task? He's got support as well. There's players here. They have the bodies. Now they need the kills. There's one. There's a trade. Mista drawing focus that might distract from RPK here out towards the barrels. I think they had a good idea he was here. But they're trying to provide a smoke for him to bail back into after he takes the fight. He's even going to re-smoke, so they certainly know he's here, but they just can't find him. They can't get the vision on his angle. 
Good flashbangs, good peeks, good clears. Misuta doing work here to even prevent RPK from having to fire a bullet. Now they might have lost track of him, not be expecting him to still be here. This could be huge. Up and over the barrel steals a player as the smoke clears. There's one. Needed the second, though, for Buster. And he just missed, uh, and Z Zaiwu, I don't think he's going to be able to get the angle. Here comes the hit. Does he back off? No. Zaiwu waiting. Patient. Molly will force oh. him forward. Now he's in the angle, but he's just going to sit there. He misses the shot. Jane, 30 seconds to play with, and just a shocks to deal with. Does he have the read? Shocks with the op as well in a 1v1. Jane out in the open. Everything's about timing, but now he knows. Now he knows, and he's gotten around. The bomb will go down. Shock's going to try and swing on it, but time is of the essence. Jane gets around the movement impeccable. Shocks isn't ready for this at all. There's the headshot. No, not hit. Another chance here for Shocks, and he will connect. So a rare error from Jame. Had him lined up, had him zeroed in, but he falls off at the wrong moment. And that will be the defuse for Vitality. But it's long from Zaiwu and Shocks that has everything. They're playing the pixel angles along. Here's going to be the clear. Shocks though, gets the kill. That was huge. Playing anti-flash, he needed to have it. Zaiwu didn't hit the shot, but the setup works. That's going to drive them back the other direction, though. Now it's on to Yekandar. Yekandar out solo on sight. No one close enough to trade him. And this is working out for RPK. He takes two before the Molly forces him away. Beautifully done. That's a nice kill for Jame, but now he's all alone. Well, he isn't looking too gray. It has been just um just the one round lost in a row or two rather now at this point, right? So they they can just about get a scenario for him right now. Two players coming up, connector. Two coming in from mid as well. The question is, do they peek this together? They don't even need to. You can there just delivers a headshot. Kickard's even going to find this B aggression right now. Do they, do they clear it? They do. And it was just as Kickard looks over, expecting the triple boost, apparently, in the spawn. Oh, had he heard something to maybe indicate that that could have been happening? I'm not sure. Look at this. That, Look at that the was a little bit strange. Misuta. Misuta's found the bomb. He pushed all the way through for Monster. Now he's got this information. He's got control of it as well. Omali to confirm it. They have to come back and fight him. 50 seconds. This is going to bite so much of their precious time away. Warded on B. And they're going to save? They're going to save. They're going to save. Classic VP. Going to keep these guns alive. Going to back away and see what they can do. Sanji catches the first. Vitality has a little bit of money to play with. I don't know that they have a lot. Zaiwu certainly not going to hunt. But RPK might come in after time. Just try and take one more of these guns away. Is he going to do it? No. He'll chill. Flash over from Vitality and Zaiwu is also now in position. So this is going to be tough. Never mind, what? Buster. It's a ridiculous shot to take off his head. There is a second player trying to follow up, and well, it's being received by Buster. Makes things awkward, but okay, he hangs Buster. on, crouching up and down, ducking and peeking, and well, taking out shocks and giving a fantastic two-man advantage to VP in such an important round as well. And they're gonna find the monster aggression. Look at this vitality going through. There is a player in the the mini monster rather right, playing for the anti-flash, and yeah, ready for the trade with that as well. B is open. Apex is gonna have to rotate down and pull off a miracle with this clutch. This is so tough now. Apex. He's gonna try, but there's a player already in water. He's not expecting that. Sanji hits him with the uppercut. And he's getting new damage and set up the teammates for the retake. It's still viable, but those flashes are good. Now the position's revealed and they are getting erased. Good kill on the monster. Yeah, the gets the trade though. And there's the follow-up. RPK dealt with. And a three for two exchange. Never mind. Make that four is A-OK -okay in their books. Zaiwu. A save might be advised here, but it is Zaiwu, so he wants to try it. For an attempt, Yekandar, if he swings in, oh, just gonna rip his head from his shoulder. Getting aggressive by the brackets, I like this. I like this, you've gotta risk it in this kind of round. Shocks though, he's blind, there's no way he's getting anything, so that's the first domino to fall. They're looking for four more, and right now it's not looking good. Two players down, once they detect the presence up here, well, they might just fall, or they'll just kill everybody. Jame ready for that, players making their way out on the site. Options available for Virtus Pro, but with 25 seconds, now they have to commit. RPK, he could thwart this if he finds these two players, but he has to come up huge, and he will chase and be unable to. Drawn in. Apex has gotten in towards the site, but he is going to be dealt with. He finds one, but not able to trade, not just with a CZ. It's all under Zaiwu, and it's all over. 16 to 12, Virtus Pro makes...